My name is Ming Chen. I'm the co-founder of a shared universe podcast studio where we help people launch and create and record podcasts. When I was a kid, uh, I studied at the school of like Howard Stern. Uh, I wanted to be a radio guy, but one that wasn't constrained by rules of content. But I learned that Howard Stern actually did have a lot of rules. So I was like, okay, maybe one day a format will come out with, with, with no rules and that will reach more than say, you know, the city that you're broadcasting in. And uh, when I found out about podcasting, I was like, whoa, okay, I can say whatever I want. They're like, yeah, you know, you, you don't have to, uh, no one tells you what you can and can't say. And I was like, well, what, how, how far does this reach? And, and someone was like, well, it's, it's on the internet. It's global, it reaches worldwide. I was like, wow. And I was like, well, well that's better than radio. Uh, radio only goes as far as the, so the waves uh, travel, which is usually, a, you know, if you're lucky, the outskirts of a major city. If you're on the internet, uh, if you're podcasting, it, it is worldwide. Wherever there's a, some kind of internet connection, your show will reach there. And uh, I, I love that you can literally record a podcast, maybe do a little bit of editing, but you can be worldwide within five minutes. And uh, that's, always, that's always attracted me. So uh, whether you live in you know, Monmouth County, New Jersey, or uh, you, you're in the Himalayas, you can record a podcast and have it out to the rest of the world. My career path is one that uh, is not really like a point A to point B line. I think a lot of people, uh, you know, they study hard, they go to school, they get a job, they wear a suit every day, and that wasn't me. Um, all I wanted to do is read comic books and play video games. And all the adults in my life were like, no one's ever gonna pay you to love pop culture. No one's ever gonna pay you to play video games. And as we know now, <laughs> right now, that they were completely off. And luckily I followed that path. And uh, uh, I got a job with director Kevin Smith because I was a fan of his movies and he found me. And eventually that led me into podcasting. Uh, he put me on a TV show that ran for seven years called Comic Book Men. And uh, now I discovered that I love podcasting so much that I want to help other people discover that love. And that's why I opened up a studio to help them discover that love of podcasting. A typical work day for me is very strange. Uh, it, it could start as early as five in the morning and go as late as you know, two, three in the morning. We have podcasters coming in all day, every day. And, uh, they, you know, they, so I, I work on their schedules, so they may come in very early in the morning, they may come very, very late at night. It depends on the subject. Uh, more of the more, you know, business oriented, type A go-getters, you know, they, they, they want to record podcasts in the morning. Some of the later night ones that, you know, maybe are focused on sports or alcohol or pop culture, they come in later. So I'm available for them all day. Uh, we list on our website that we are open 24-7. 365. If you need to come in and record a podcast, I will be there for you because I work on your schedule. You don't work on mine. So, um, and, I, and I know uh, I, I got my inspiration from rock stars. They sometimes they get hit with inspiration at three in the morning. And I want, I feel the same way about podcasters. So I want to be there for them whenever they want to record. So my day is very weird. I don't, it's very unpredictable. I don't know when I'm going to be in. I don't know when I'm going to leave and hopefully I don't pass out before, <laughs> before the day is over. We have many opportunities that we could offer Brookdale students. We're looking for people who love technology, who love something that you know, is maybe a little bit out of the ordinary. If you come to a shared university, you know, you're not gonna be flipping burgers, you're not gonna be filing papers, you're not gonna be working on Excel spreadsheets, you're gonna be coming in, experiencing podcasting from any subject. It could literally be anywhere from real estate law to sports, to filmmaking, to, uh, you know, dying, yarn dying. Uh, there are podcasts about yarn dying that I, <laughs> I learned. Uh, and I think that's what I love about podcasting is uh, they can be on any topic under the sun. And uh, it's, you know, it's very quick, it's very dynamic. And uh, you have to love people though. Uh, you're dealing with people coming in uh, but it's, I, I like to tell people though, it's a, this is, it's a cool job. It is not your normal everyday, you know, you don't, you don't have to wear a suit. You never know what you're, you're going to get. And uh, I, we're looking for somebody uh, who, who kind of, uh, who is kind of interested in everything. We're looking for someone who's interested in, 
everything, and uh, and who can come in. I was like, wow, you know, this is. Uh, I, I learned something today. I learned something every time uh, every time a podcaster comes in. So uh, you know, we, we're, so we uh, we offer opportunity for people who uh, may want to learn about podcasting or sound design or sound editing. Or uh, we do a lot of, we shoot a lot of video as well. So if you're into editing, if you're into filmmaking, if maybe you want to be a documentarian, um, or you just love technology in general, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're looking for someone who can just learn uh, tech really quick and who loves, loves to have a little bit of fun as well. Because we're, the main reason we're, we're open is we want to help people have fun 24 7, all day, every day. And, uh, but, you know, podcasting is fun, if nothing else. It's that fun that we're trying to trying to uh, show other people.